My name is Mark Rubel and we're in Blackbird Studio C. It is uh, the only room of its kind in the world. Uh, we have 134,000 and some sticks that are all different lengths in the walls so that the resonances don't overlap. The areas where I especially like analog uh, technology are the outer ends of it. So microphones, guitar amps, instruments that have character and that have chaos in them. I think things that are too predictable are not as interesting to us. So uh, this is a Sarge amplifier. Uh, it's built into a medical instruments box and it is a Hammond organ amplifier that's put in a different case. I think it's wonderful to make something by hand to reuse things that are really great. Um, something like a Hammond amplifier, you can't make them again. Uh, a lot of people ascribe magic powers to vacuum tubes, but a big part of what sounds great about a tube amplifier is the transformer. Uh, and it's how the, uh, you know, how the power comes out of the amplifier and the match between the transformer and how it saturates and how the tubes work. And it's wonderful to have something that is, uh, you know, has its personality and, and has its quirks. Being here in Nashville, I try to get other engineers to use them and producers. I casually left one lying around Vance Powell's studio for a while with the hopes that Jack White would find it and start using it, and that actually worked. It was on his last record. Uh, over here, we have an unusual amplifier. Looks like a road amp. It's made out of folded up street signs. It's actually a Sarge in a different case. Uh, I'd like that, you know, with such a simple device, three knobs, you really have a wide array of sounds. I tend to use this amp with different cabinets. Uh, it sounds great with single 12s, I found. Uh, single 15s, but it sounds great through a 412 cabinet. It really depends what we're doing. So one of the applications that I use uh, Analog Outfitter amps for, in addition to as guitar amps or bass amps, is for reamping things, especially with low-end instruments like a bass drum or a bass guitar, because part of what comes out when you're generating distortion is the upper harmonics. You know, a lot of listening is being done these days on laptops and tiny speakers that actually have no bass. When you have a high amount of high frequency content, it implies the low end. I think music is one of the most important things that human beings do. I think it's important to everyone. As we all know, it triggers memories, it triggers emotions. It's one of our ways of processing our lives and everything around us. Uh, and I think it's probably one of the best things that human beings are capable of doing, right? They can be kind or excellent. They can generate uh, medical inventions. We can explore space. But I think uh, the creation of music and other arts is about the finest thing that we do as a species. And so it's vitally important that it's done as well as we can do it.